Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a day in my life. This is going to be a stay at home day, a very chill vlog. So I hope you can stick around. So my mum recently came back from London and she brought me a little gift. It's a food gift and I'm always excited for food gifts. And the first thing is this Witted Rosebuds Herbal Infusion. And I love this. I really recommend this if you like rosy herbal teas that are just really aesthetic. I find this very, very aesthetic. And I'll show you what this looks like. I have had this before. My auntie really loves this tea. Every time I go to a house, this is what I drink. If you look at it, it's just rosebuds just rosebuds nothing else and i've opened it because i wanted to smell it and it smells so good it smells like a field of roses if you look at the ingredients which come on this little card it's just rosebuds nothing else and this tastes so good with honey or a bit of sweetener my favorite honey is something from sugibi because they have a lot of yuzu flavored honey or cherry flavored honey and it just adds something to it i need to check if i have any left because i think i might have run out and that is the most painful thing for me to run out of sugibi i always get it in japan i always have a steady supply of it in japan but because i'm currently not in japan i have to make do with what i have i'm sure i have like a travel sachet i buy travel sachets that's how serious i am about sugibi honey the next thing she got me is this chocolate from fortnum and mason and it's forever chasing supernovas milk chocolate filled with passion fruit and i don't eat chocolate very often but i do appreciate good quality chocolate and i also really like chocolate with different things different fillings in it and i really enjoy passion fruit so this would be nice and then the final thing is something i'm always very very excited about every time she goes to london every time I go to London or anyone I know goes to London I just ask them to bring me back some Ladure macaroons because I love them so much and she's brought me back a box I always keep the boxes because I can put trinkets or makeup or other things in them they're just so pretty Ladure apparently have vegan macaroons now which I did not know existed to be honest I don't have a breakdown of all the flavors I think this is rose this is pistachio this is vanilla this is I have no idea what that is I think these chocolate looking ones are the vegan ones maybe these are raspberry I'm not sure I'm gonna try a rose one I mean at least I think this is rose it seems to have rose petals on it dried rose petals and it smells like rose if you've never tried a Ladure macaroon this is what it looks like inside I think this one's got a bit of raspberry it's really good and they're still super fresh which is a big relief because i didn't think they were going to be fresh since i left them for a whole day but no they're still very fresh let's go get food no food's not next to me food is downstairs come on come on come on That is so good. It reminds me of the teas they sell at the Awayama flower tea house. It's so refreshing, so nice for summertime. Obviously it's not summertime yet. It's actually quite cold outside. What are you playing? Jurassic Park. Ooh. We're back from our walk now and the weather has taken a turn. It is raining. It's really cold outside now. 
English weather. Now we're getting kind of hungry, so I want to make some spicy tofu with rice noodles. It's not any particular recipe, it's just something that I sometimes make and it's quite tasty. So yeah, let's go make that. So to make this, I'm going to be using two oils. One's going to be the chili infused oil and the other one's going to be sesame oil and it will give it a nice rich flavor. this isn't this a nice mushroom we just got a mix of mushrooms these are my favorites because they are eringi mushrooms which are king oyster mushrooms so tasty i don't want to make them too small and i'm gonna add the chinese leaf lettuce last because it cooks quite fast so I froze the tofu last night because it was a little bit too soft and it was hard tofu to begin with but I think for this kind of dish it works a bit better if the tofu is more spongy and freezing it makes it a bit more spongy. <laughs> Which chili is this? Uh, Reaper. Ooh. So the tofu is a little spongier. I use a few sauces with this, hoisin sauce, and I also use soy sauce, as well as some chili flakes and garlic powder and just random herbs that I can find around the kitchen. So I kind of wing it every time, but it always tastes really, really good. I'm going to drink this while I cook. So when you freeze the tofu, not only does it get a little bit tougher, but it also starts to soak up the flavor of whatever you put it into, which makes it perfect for cooking with sauces like hoisin and any other sauce, basically. So I'm gonna add the hoisin now and it's just gonna soak up that flavor. It makes it super tasty. Who's a good boy? The chilies are cooking and they really hit the back of your throat. Also, there's a lot of chili oil in there as well, um, but I really like it spicy. I think that's going to be too spicy for your mum. John. So the soy sauce is going to reduce and the vegetables and the tofu are just going to soak up the flavor. This is really going to shrink once you put it in. These are the noodles that I like to use. They are very easy to cook. All you have to do is soak them in hot water just for a couple of minutes and then they're ready. Do you want some? It's not my personal choice of decor. And we're done. Let's eat. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks really nice. It tastes really good. This is especially good if you like spicy food because I like to make it extra spicy with all the chili flakes. And the hoisin just brings some sweetness to it. So yeah, that's my lunch. <laughs> Look at this. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, let's try it. Let's try a piece of tofu. That is so good. Oh no! Liza, have to put them in the passageway. Yeah, I think so. John is on a mission to save the plants. Here he is. One log. Oh no. You want to go out, but you can't, Larry? I know, it's so wet outside. So I recently received a package and I'm going to show it to you now, but basically a few weeks ago Yes Style reached out to me and they were wondering if I want to try some K-Beauty products and initially I was very apprehensive about this because a lot of K-Beauty and even J-Beauty is not cruelty free. I try to not use any products that have been tested on animals and unfortunately when you go to Japan and 
because I can't speak for Korea, I'm only speaking for Japan. When you go to Japan and you go to all the skincare shops, the K-beauty shops, there is this one area called Shin Okubo and it is incredible. It's full of skincare shops, makeup shops, K-pop idol shops. Everywhere you look there is just more skincare and you are completely spoiled for choice. It was one of my favorite places to go shopping and at the time I don't think I actually realized how much of the makeup and skincare that is on sale is not cruelty free. It's kind of disappointing. So initially when Yes Style reached out to me, I assumed automatically that they wanted to send me products that were not cruelty free. But imagine my surprise when they said that everything that they were going to send me will not only be cruelty free, but it will also be vegan. So I was very excited about that and I'm going to show you some of the products now. And some of them I've already actually used. I've opened this up last week because I wanted to test them out. So basically my stuff came like this. It's called the Insta Kit and it is a box full of K-beauty products and accessories that are vegan and cruelty free. So I'm gonna take this off. Apparently, and I haven't tried this yet, you can turn this into an origami box. There's instructions on the back and I think I'm going to ask John to do this because I am not origami inclined at all. It is not a skill that I possess. And keep in mind, I have opened and tried some of these already. So this is all the stuff. So I wasn't expecting the first item, but it's actually a BT21 journal and it's Tata, who is V. I remember a lot of BT21 merchandise being sold in Shin Okubo in Tokyo. You have all the characters up here at the top. Oh, the dividers are so cute. So all the dividers are transparent and they've got the characters on them. Oh, this is adorable, look. It's got all the characters on the bottom. This is very cute. I cannot wait to use this. If you're wondering, my bias is actually J-Hope, but I, I love V as well, so. Um, this is good. The next product that they included also wasn't skincare or beauty related, but it is a silicone cup. It's microwave safe, it's freezer safe, and it is non-environmental hormone. I don't know what that means, but it's a silicone cup. I'm probably going to use this for my toothbrush. The next two things I actually already used and I absolutely love them. They are both from a brand called Unleashia and one is an eyeshadow palette and the other one is a lip balm. When I think of K-Beauty or J-Beauty eyeshadows, usually if you swatch them, you will notice that the pigment is very, very light. It's like a wash of delicate color rather than buildable pigment, but these are very, very pigmented and I was honestly so impressed because I wasn't expecting that much pigment. On the back they both have the bunny logo, they are both vegan and cruelty free. I'm wearing them today, I basically did a quick wash of color with my finger when I came back from the walk. I love the lip balm, number one because it smells like mangoes, I think, I'm pretty sure it's mango. It does look glittery in the tube but the glitter doesn't really show up on your lips and it has a lot of slip to it, it almost feels like an oil and it smells so good. Next is another thing that I've used and it's the Mugwort Spot Gel from I'm From. Usually if I get a breakout, it is a stress related breakout. So I started to use a lot of spot treatments. This is the only one that I've used so far that actually calms down the redness. This has Mugwort in it and also salicylic acid and salicylic acid is pretty good for breakouts. So it's got this tip and a clear gel and after you've applied the gel, it starts to cool your skin. So you get a bit of a cooling sensation. So far, I've been really, really liking this and I will most likely repurchase after I run out. But I can imagine this lasting you quite a long time because you only do need like a little dab. Okay, next product. So this is the Green Tea and Enzyme Powder Wash by Wish Trend. And I have used something like this before. It comes like a powder and then you mix it with water and then you use it as a cleanser. I'm trying to smell it without getting the powder in my nose. It smells like matcha, it smells like green tea. And this is supposed to balance your pH levels and get rid of dead skin cells. I think that this will work for me because it's got baking soda in it. And I've noticed that any product that has baking soda in it just works for my skin. And normally when a product has baking soda in it, it's very good at cleaning out the pores. Then we have something I'm really excited about and it is a face mask. I don't know how long you guys have been on my channel for, but when I first started posting videos, I was doing face mask reviews. So this is the fig scrub mask from I'm From. And this has fig powder enzymes and black sugar in it. And it's supposed to remove the dead skin cells and leave your skin feeling fresh and clean. It looks like what I imagine fig paste to look like. The mask itself does come with a little spatula, but they've also sent me a little silicone brush. Normally I just apply it with my fingers to be honest. Um, but this is way more hygienic. Don't be an animal like me. Oh, this is nice quality. This is also from I'm From. I'm gonna use this tonight. I'm going to be so fancy. First we have macaroons. 
Then we have rose tea. Now we're applying face masks with a fancy silicone brush. Okay, so this does not have a strong smell at all. It smells a little bit like clay and very faintly of figs. Next up we have the Bar Super Balance Brightening Ampule and this has seven types of hyaluronic acid as well as niacinamide. I'm just reading up on this product and it says that it's supposed to soothe and plump your skin without any stickiness and this is also suitable for very sensitive skin. I want to see if this smells because normally ampules or serums that are for sensitive skin aren't supposed to have any fragrance in them. No fragrance. Nothing. I cannot smell anything. Next up we have the Revectin Clean Lotus Water Cream, which is a moisturizer. <gasps> you can customize the bottle with stickers. Oh, I see. Because the bottle is very, very plain. It's very simple, very minimalist. You can open this up and there's stickers inside. I'm going to stick so many things on this moisturizer. So cute. So it says that this is a moisturizer with minimal ingredients, it's supposed to be very hydrating, and it's also supposed to retain the moisture in your skin at an optimal level. So I'm gonna try this today. My whole skincare is getting an overhaul tonight. It's happening. And then finally, we have the Claire's Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. I have actually used this brand before. I feel that it's quite popular. This eye butter is supposed to reduce the fine lines under your eyes and also increase the suppleness. I do use an eye cream because my under eyes get incredibly dry, so I will definitely get use out of this, especially if it's extra moisturizing. As I mentioned, this does come with a spatula, but I'm gonna be extra fancy today and use a brush. Put my hair back. I actually have to bend down slightly because I'm taller than the tripod. Let's try this. Ooh, it feels smooth. It feels smooth. It's got a tiny bit of grit to it, but the grit is so soft. I'm gonna keep this on for about 10 to 15 minutes as recommended and then I'm going to have a shower. So I had a shower and I washed the mask off. When you're actually washing it off, it turns into a milky consistency, so it goes white. And when you're rinsing it off, it does feel a bit more gritty, but I still didn't find it harsh at all. The grittiness is quite soft. My skin is actually not red after it at all. I was expecting it to go a bit red because every time I use a face mask, I do get redness, especially around the outer corners of my face. But it feels very, very smooth, very clean. There was no greasy residue left behind, so that's good. I'm gonna have to see what my skin feels like tomorrow but so far it's good so i think i'm going to leave this video here because otherwise it's gonna be super long so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe and i'll talk to you next time <laughs>